there's a growing trend for business owners to club together for mutual support. They can discuss problems in a confidential environment, get advice on how to grow, and invite some of the country's top experts in areas of particular interest to them. These business people have come to hear about one of them, Vistage. Vistage as, a, as an organisation is, is dedicated to improving the, the lives of CEOs and their businesses. It does this in, in a number of ways. It's quite a unique Vistage experience that combines peer group meetings, meeting for a full day once a month. To those groups we bring in expert speakers who run specific workshops that the members have asked for in specific subject areas. We also support the members individually by doing one-to-one -one coaching sessions and mentoring sessions on a monthly basis. At this particular meeting, the morning was devoted to one of the UK's top specialists in marketing, come to explain why the old ideas had been turned on their heads. I think it's what's changed rather than what's gone wrong, but I think what's changed is that it's all about value. So traditionally there was value in the old model. What the old model used to be is companies would shout very loudly at us all through the letterbox or through the TV or through the radio or whatever it was. And we listened to a point, not, not to everything, but why did we listen? Because we used to live in a world where we didn't have much choice relative to today and we didn't have access to information in the way that we do today either. So I think what's happened today is we now have so much access to information and choice at the touch of a button and when we want it we found that the value in people shouting at us has gone. I don't need someone to shout at me about a holiday destination because I can go online, I can have a look, and I can get other references and use a site like TripAdvisor to see what other people say, and therefore we just screen it out. You described the old model as being rather like a funnel, but the new model is taking that and turning it upside down. What actually did you mean by that? Yeah, so the, the, the traditional model was a kind of funnel, if people remember, the very wide top, and that wide top signified that you'd shout at lots of people at once, because if you advertised on TV, you shout a lot of people. Uh, direct mails, you didn't mail three things out, you mailed a few hundred out or whatever. So you'd shout a lot of people, and the narrow bottom was about your return on investment. You got a few things out the bottom from the big activity at the top, and as long as that paid for everything and profit, everybody was happy. Essentially, you've now got to turn it on its head. You have a very narrow top, because today you need customers to come to you rather than the other way around. Customers are going to come to you, they're going to ask their friends, colleagues, their Facebook connections, whatever it is as to what products and services are available, or they're going to go online and have a, have a look for those. And so that narrow top signifies the fact that when customers come to you, they don't normally come in great numbers in one day. You're not going to get a million hits in a day, you might get a few hundred or tens or whatever. The reason why you get a wide base now is because in the old days there was no cost-effective way of staying in contact with lots of customers. So in other words, you had to screen out as many people as you could to try and focus on the ones that most likely to buy to get your bang for your buck. Today, with modern technology, you can have hundreds of followers on Twitter or thousands. You could have millions of people accessing your Facebook fan page. You could have millions of people on your, looking at your website. With some good CRM software, you can stay in contact with however many people you want with absolutely... Uh, no cost or very little cost. So today you have a wide base because you don't screen people out. You, you're inclusive because the big battle today in marketing is for people's attention. So essentially as far as companies are concerned, unless they're using social media and using it effectively, they're actually missing a major trick. Yeah, 100%. So, so what I'm, I'm very clear with people, I always say, that, you know, people get bogged down with things like Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn or YouTube. And I always say, look, these are tools. Yeah, is Facebook right for you? Probably because it's got 550 million users, but, but probably. But I'm not worried about the tools, but the principles are you need to engage with people, you need to make yourself attractive so they'll come to you, and therefore you need to be where they're going to look. So when they look, they find you as well as perhaps some others. And the reason why social media is so important today is because almost a quarter of all web traffic today is, is social media, in which case it's unfathomable to think that some of your customers aren't there. So it's one of the places you need to be. So I think, yes, everybody should be embracing social media, but the tools with which you use and how that's used will be different for different businesses.